Yo, what is good? So this is the Armory Crate in 2024. And I gotta say, it has been excellent from my experience. Now, I've only had the ROG Ally for a couple months, so I really couldn't tell you how the Armory Crate was during day one and its earlier stages. But I heard it was very fucking buggy, y'all. And I have only experienced one bug during all my time with the Armory Crate. So, I would like to say it probably has improved. I said improved. What the fuck kind of word is that? Now, improved pretty well ever since it came out. Now, I will start with the negative. Let's get the negative shit out, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? So, on the... When you delete a game on the ROG Ally, it deletes it off its, your native storage device, so the storage is gone. But when you go on the Armory Crate onto your game library, uh, basically, the little launcher for the game that you deleted is still here. So you're going to have to do a double delete and delete whatever game you deleted. A lot of deletes, but I'm not deleting Fortnite. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But this is basically a game launcher. So I'm going to click on High on Life right here. Got a couple options to start. It starts with a simple click. And that's exactly what the Armory Crate, I feel like, is for. It's trying to copy what the Steam Deck does, launching games with a simple click. Now we come over to the settings here, and I haven't tried all of these but man, these are pretty cool from the ones I have tried. So the embedded controller is the little layout on the Allies machine that you play with when you're playing games. Um, basically, you can enable and disable it, and this is necessary if you're trying to play with other uh, devices besides the Allies embedded controller. So I was on Fortnite, and I had a wireless Xbox controller I connected to the ROG Ally. It connected just fine. But when I tried to register the controller on Fortnite, it would not move. Like, the controller was not controlling the game at all. And that was because the embedded controller was still on there. And when I disabled it, the Xbox controller was able to move around. Now, I assume this is just, it adds the, when you connect the wireless controller while the embedded controller is enabled, um, it pretty much just registers it as a second controller. So you're going to have to turn that off if you want for some games. Now, the recording screen um, does simply just that. It records uh, records gameplay. Um, the real-time monitor is like your FPS and your APU temperatures and all that. Now, it will not register when you're using the Armory Crate's record screen feature. So you'll have to run OBS if you want to do like some benchmarks or something. Now... Uh, content as far as this goes, um, the campaign, bro, I remember during, uh, updates and stuff, that it would, like, advertise a little campaign, now, I'm, I'm not trying to hate, like, where, hashtag, where's my ally, y'all do you, but man, I'm trying to play my games, I, t I said X, you know what I'm saying, but, I hope y'all get, hope y'all go somewhere with that, you know what I'm saying, but, me? That's crazy. <laughs> so, we're going to have to go into the game platforms, as you see. It's basically just uh, to link your all your gaming services to the Armory Crate. And it will just register the games that you have on these apps, and it will put them in the game library. Of course, the ones that you downloaded on your Ally. Or else, though, if it took every single game I owned, bro, my game library on here would be fucking humongous, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we go into the user center, and uh, basically, uh, I haven't used this shit forever, but I think it's basically just like, it, it's a huge control of your game, like, uh, settings, basically, uh, your profile settings, so, for the entire, you know, for the entire application, so, that is very big, and you can manage your elite rewards. Now, I haven't used that shit in forever, so I'm kind of just like, I don't know, I've, I'm kind of trying to remember things that I used from it. Um, the help center is just, uh, you know, if you, you're kind of stuck on the app, you don't know what to do. It's handheld windows. I mean, it's just wind finger and an embedded controller on it. So it's like, hard, my G. Um, let's go over to X. So this is the XG Mobile GPU. Man, this thing sounds cool on paper. It's basically a GPU you can plug in.
to your uh, ROG ally and you basically get the ROG allies power upgraded um, you can get like a 3080 mobile a 6800 XT mobile or even a 4090 mobile but man these things cost like over thousands of dollars nobody is going to buy it I'm sorry like m like that's crazy but I don't remember asking about two thousand three thousand dollars for a goddamn mobile GPU you know what I'm saying? Now, this is just troubleshooting bullshit. And, you know, if you want to say all that, let's say. Um, nah, that's just to tell me my system uh, devices and stuff. Um, media gallery. Um, this is basically the recording software on the uh, armory crate and on the command center that you can use. Um, but, yeah, this is where you find all your recorded content. And for the update center, this was the only bug I encountered on the Allies uh, Armory Crate. And it was on device and component. When it actually was updated, it would say your device is up to date. The update notification dot would still be on the right. So the update center would still have a red notification dot on it. Even though there was nothing really to be notified about, it was all updated, the little notification dot was still there, and that is the only bug I really experienced on the ROG Allies Armory Crate. Now, I gotta say, this is absolutely, overall, a very solid application. It is just bootable from Windows, so that's that, um, and it does mimic what the Steam Deck does by simple click launching. Uh, now, the thing about the Legion Go's uh, equivalent to the ROG Allies Armory Crate, I think it's called like the Vantage. Um, it, the, considering the Legion Go just came out, it's probably, I'm assuming, in a similar state to the Ally, where it's probably got some bugs in it, like back when the Ally first came out. Now that the Ally has been around for getting towards a year, um, the Armory Crate has had a lot of experience since then. Uh, and has ex very much improved since its earlier stages. And this is what this video is for. Say in 2024, the Armory Crate has vastly improved. So, that about wraps it up. I'll see you on the next one.